My struggle. Growing up, I had big dreams and aspirations. I wanted to be successful, happy, and fulfilled in life. I believed that with hard work and determination, I could achieve anything I set my mind to. However, my journey to achieving these goals was not an easy one. When I was in my early 20s, I landed my first job at a marketing agency. I was excited to start my career and prove myself as a valuable asset to the company. However, things didn't go as planned. I struggled to adapt to the fast-paced environment and the high expectations of my boss. I made mistakes, missed deadlines, and received harsh criticism. At first, I felt defeated and discouraged. I doubted my abilities and wondered if I was cut out for this line of work. I began to doubt myself and my decisions, and I felt like a failure. I started to question whether I should quit my job and try something else. But instead of giving up, I decided to take a different approach. I sought out feedback from my colleagues and mentors. And I worked tirelessly to improve my skills. I read books, attended workshops, and practiced my craft until I felt confident in my abilities. I remember one particular project that I worked on for weeks. I put in countless hours of research, analysis, and brainstorming, and I felt confident that I had come up with a winning strategy. However, when I presented my ideas to my boss, he dismissed them outright. He told me that my ideas were too risky and that I needed to come up with something more conventional. I was devastated. I felt like all my hard work had been for nothing. I wanted to give up, but I knew that I couldn't let my boss's criticism defeat me. I took a step back and reflected on what I could have done differently. I realized that I needed to be more persuasive and convincing. In my presentation, I needed to provide more evidence and data to support my ideas. So, I went back to the drawing board and I worked even harder. I spent weeks gathering more data, analyzing it, and refining my strategy. I presented my ideas again, but this time, I was more confident and persuasive. My boss was impressed and he approved my strategy. IT wasn't an overnight transformation. But gradually, I started to see progress. My boss noticed my hard work and dedication, and he began to trust me with more responsibilities. I was promoted to a senior position, and I felt a sense of pride and accomplishment that I had never experienced before. Looking back, I realized that my struggle was a necessary part of my growth. It taught me the importance of perseverance, resilience, and self-reflection. It showed me that failure is not the end, but rather an opportunity to learn and grow. And most importantly, it instilled in me a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation for the people who believed in me and helped me along the way. Today, I am proud of the person I have become, and I am grateful for the challenges that shaped me into who I am. I hope that my story can inspire others to persevere through their own struggles and to never give up on their dreams.